Hi everyone. West here from Liberty Park Music with another etude piano video lesson for you. Today we're going to take a look at a short little etude by Gerlitt, opus 82 number 52 in the wonderful key of A minor. And in this piece we're going to get a chance to look at some octave reaches and some scales. Let's take a look. Looking at the octave leap and descending scale figure in measure one, this is part of where the etude comes into this piece and the stretch that needs to happen to make this come off smoothly. So if you've been practicing your scales, the actual scale itself should be pretty easy. You can see where the fingering indicates the crossover, um, which is where it would normally be in a standard descending scale. So it's really just the leap part that you need to work out. Now the practicing strategy here, as it often is, is just to practice the leap by itself to get used to the motion and the stretch. We want this um, to be a fluid, flexible reach, not one all bound up intense joints. So if you start by giving a little bit of a stretch instead of a full stretch, that's going to be much better. You can see that my hand really doesn't do too huge of a spread, um, which is actually important for the scale as well, because the more you stretch your hand to reach up the octave, the more your hand is going to have to contract to get your fingers back together to play the steps of the scale. So aiming for a more moderate stretch coupled with a nicely choreographed arc um, is a better way to go. And one thing for you to watch out for when playing this is your volume, as the combination of the stretch with the speed at which this needs to be played can result in a very forced forte. Uh, remember that we tend to play louder when we tend to play faster, so be careful of that. Another thing for you to be careful of is the timing of these thirds. We tend to feel this piece in two, so these punchy eighth note thirds can be a little strange to try in place. So do use a metronome and clap the rhythms just to make sure you're on top of them. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about how you might want to think about playing these um, as far as interpretation goes um, in just a little bit. <laughs> 